Don't be distracted by criticism. Remember, the only taste of success some people get is to take a bite of you. With this quote, I am Munali Gupta. Welcome you all to Since Independence. So let's begin with today's latest BuzzFeed. News coming from Raipur as BJP leader arrested for allegedly molesting a woman. A leader of the Bharti Janta Party was arrested on Sunday for allegedly molesting a 34-year-old woman. A police official said that after registering a complaint in the civil lines police station in Raipur, Chhattisgarh, Prakash Bajaj of age 42 was arrested on charge of molesting. Bajaj is a member of the BJP's executive committee. A case has been registered against Bajaj in two sections and the High Court has also sent him in judicial custody. Modi Shah Magic seen in West Bengal in Lok Sabha elections. West Bengal is a major state that has been in discussion in the Lok Sabha elections 2019. There was a fight between both the TMC and BJP. After all, the magic of BJP went on in West Bengal. The party has taken 18 seats in the Lok Sabha. Some of the main faces of BJP candidates who won are Bengal's BJP President Dilip Ghosh, Union Minister Babul Supriyo and SS Aluwalia. Babul Supriyo defeated TMC candidate Munmun Sen with a difference of 1,97,637 votes in Asansol. This time, TMC has lost 12 seats in comparison to 2014 Lok Sabha elections. Chile prevents lung cancer from spreading in the body. Well, chili is very beneficial for health. It not only enhances the taste of food, but it is considered to be effective in weight loss and working on heart disease and silence. In the study published in the Experimental Biology, it was said that chili has a compound called capsaicin, which helps in the prevention of lung cancer. Many cases of lung cancer have been emerged in men and women. This figure is more in case of men and in this sense, this study is seen as a major achievement. Arjun Kapoor talks about his wedding rumours. In recent weeks, a tons of hypotheses have been made as far back as Arjun Kapoor and Malaika Arora Khan have turned out in open about their relationship. There were reports of the couples wanting to get married not long ago. Anyway, Arjun Kapoor has denied such reports. PM Narendra Modi, a movie or a geography. As a biopic, it possesses nothing but praises PM Modi's truthfulness. As a hagiography, however, bowling at the it's ideal, it's uncritical, unquestioning, high on talks, what's more, there is nothing unplanned about it. Hollywood's latest Aladdin has been leaked by Tamil Rockers. Tamil Rockers has turned into agony for film and TV creation houses in the course of the most recent couple of the years. It has released expensive films this year like Anupam Khe's The Excellent Prime Minister, Ranveer Singh's Gully Boy, Varun Dhawan's Kalank and Avengers Endgame among others. Disney's action remake of Aladdin has recently come under the radar of Tamil rockers. Sensex plunges to 98 points after touching 40,000 level. The Indian stock market welcomed the NDA National Democratic Alliance in the lead of the Bharatiya Janta Party with an open mind of the unexpected rise in the results of the Lok Sabha elections. In this enthusiasm, the Sensex and the Nifty record went up to the heights. For a moment, the Sensex reached a historic height of 40,124.96 and the Nifty crossed the magical figure of 12,000. Price of petrol and diesel rose 14 paise after election results. After the results of the Lok Sabha elections, prices of petrol and diesel have risen once again. Petrol prices in Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai has gone up by 14 pesa, while in Chennai, the price has been increased by 15% per litre. In Delhi and Kolkata, diesel prices have been increased by 16 pesa, while in Mumbai and Chennai, prices have been hiked by 17 pesa per litre. According to the Indian oil website, the prices on Friday of petrol in Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai and Chennai have gone up to Rs. 71.39, Rupees 77 and Rupees 74.10 respectively. Diesel prices have also gone up to Rupees 66.45, Rupees 68.21, Rupees 69.63 and Rupees 70.24 per litre respectively in these four metropolitan cities. Facebook has deleted 2.2 billion accounts. Social media giant Facebook has deleted 2.2 billion accounts. According to the company, these were fraudulent accounts and it is the biggest strike from Facebook on these fake accounts. Let us also tell you that the company has also deleted 1.2 billion fake 
post before the company has removed these accounts between October and December. Now that's all from our today's top stories. Subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Stay in touch with us to stay in touch with our world and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, 